what LL Cool J said. So that is a mistake, but I don't think it is a mistake, so I'm just going to go for it. All right, today is going to be a quick Sunday video. So just the other day, I did some reconfiguration of some of my 240 volt wiring and I rewired my stove, air conditioning, and dryer all to be off-grid. All right, so now we can run all basically the entire house off-grid. Today's going to be the first day that we use the stove. I mean, I've already ran the air conditioning and the dryer and, you know, it does that just fine. The air conditioning, you know, it does dim the lights a little bit, but that just could be because how it's wired. I don't know yet. But anyway, today's going to be the first day that we do the stove. Lauren's going to make a whole bunch of breakfast. So we're going to see what happens. I'll just do a quick little explanation. So right now I'm running my house off the 14 kilowatt Rhino battery and a 5kW Husky battery and an 11.8 Condor Elite 3. All three of these are from Big Battery. I'm still working on my DIY system right here so none of this is hooked up. We're just running off of these three batteries and a total is I think it's around 30 or 31 kilowatt hours worth of battery all right and then we're using my 12,000 watt grow watt all right so before this was more of like a critical loads panel I had basically the entire house on this one panel. Everything was the 120 volt stuff. I didn't have any 240 volt stuff, which was by stove, air conditioning, and dryer. I did have my welder on there, but that doesn't really count. This was basically just a critical loads panel. You know, just in case the power ever went out from the grid, I can pretty much run everything critical from right here. However, I did do some rewiring, like I said a second ago. I put the stove on here and then right here I had my generator lockout switch. I could either only use the inverter or from the grid. Well I took that out and now I'm back feeding this breaker to a couple panels back there. Okay, I'm not going to show those because they're so old and grungy and maybe I'll show those in a different video. But anyway, I can back feed from there to the panels back there and run the stove or the air conditioning and the dryer. So anyway. Today is going to be the first day for the stove. All right, let's go upstairs and see what Lauren is cooking. All right, Lauren. Yeah. What are you doing? I am making all the breakfast things. We're going to have waffles. We're going to have eggs. We're going to have sausage. All right. And guess what? You are the first one to power the stove off of batteries. This is the very first time. You got how many burners on right now? Two. They're just on low. Oh, they're just on low. But you got the... Small oven on two. That's also on a low. All right. Kind of heat for right okay, now. so what are you going to do? What are you going to turn on? Do we need some light and a fan? Yeah, we need lights and fans. All right, and you got the waffle. You got the waffle maker. It's already hot. It's, it's already, already hot. ready. It's I already just going. need to finish the waffles. All right, I'm going to run downstairs so we can look at some power draw. Okay. So I'll be right back. All right, Horace, you keep an eye on things up here. All right, so down here on the apps, we got the Rhino on this side, and we got the Condor Elite 3 over here, okay? So, actually, we're not pulling too much right now. We're kind of charging and discharging at the same time. Same thing over there. So maybe the oven just, I don't know, turned back off real quick. So let's go see how much solar we're producing. We're probably producing some at this point. Check this guy up here. Uh, 340 watts, we'll say. We'll go down here. We got 28 amps, or 1.5, 1.6 kilowatt coming in. All right, so again, only drawing, well, nothing much. 10 amps right there. So not a problem at all. All right, we're doing pretty damn good. Oh, 1.8, 7 amps, 380 watts. All right, so here we go back on the meters. You know, 800 watts on this one and 500 watts right there. So not too bad at all, actually. We're doing pretty good. Hey, where are you going? Uh, at this current moment, it is not a problem at all. That's good. It is good. It makes me happy. Okay, I'm gonna make some waffles. Gonna make some stuff? Waffles. Some waffles. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. 
15 minutes on that one. Yeah. What kind of eggs did you want? Scrambled. Okay. Can't, no take backs. No take backs. All right, the other burners are back on. I'm gonna run back down here and see what we got. And we're not drawing anything. Oh, minus eight or nine there. Yeah, it's gonna be going back and forth because of the, the stove. Oh, if you can see, obviously, we got telephone pole there. There's no connection. We're just off grid, okay? Got 26 amps coming in, which is 1.3 right now. Our load is 34% on the inverter. All right, this is like no problem. No problem at all. Time is like 11, 11 a.m., so we don't even have full solar of anything yet. Look up here for solar assist. So we're doing actually a little over 2,000 watts on solar at the moment. Load is 1,600 watts on the inverter. Nothing much. If you want to see uh, temperatures and stuff like that, there's the inverter temperatures. So nice and cool. Doing good. I think that was the best breakfast I've ever had. You know why? Uh, because I made it. And? And it was on the solar power. That's right, all off the batteries. So it wasn't really because I made it, it was more just because it was No, it was because power. you made it off of the grid. Okay, well good. I'm glad that that was the best breakfast you ever had. It was really good. It was. Great job. Thank you.